I'm Captain John, and welcome back to Hooked and Rolling Offshore. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, welcome back to Hooked and Rolling Offshore. My name's Captain John, AKA Handicap Fisherman. Today, we're gonna do Will It Start? What the hell is all this? Huh. Haven't started it in three, four months. So, we're going to see if it's going to start, I haven't cheated and tried it. So, I'm going to take the cowling off. After we move some stuff out of the way. Normally I get help, but I don't have help today. So, see if I can get it off myself. Well, I got it off, so that's a start. Let me get everything hooked up and okay, guys. Some something that I do different is I run a whip hose to my garden hose with a valve, so I can turn the main water on at the house. And I have a switch up here and valve where I can turn it off when I shut the motor off instead of letting it run all, all the time, burning good water. So now let's, uh, I'll be right back. Let me go turn the water on and go up in the boat. Undo the cover. Alright, put it in neutral. Here we go. Get the key out. Put the boat key in. Turn it. Get tone. Oh, wait a minute. I got my kill switch on. I'll be right back. All righty. We're back, guys. Let's try it again. I had to shut my kill switch off for the motor. Get tone. And of course he starts right up. Looking for water pressure. See if we get water pressure here soon. Right here, zero.
could be my whip hose is too thin. Charging good. RPM's good. Fuel's good. So we're looking good except for the water pump. I think my hose are. Oh, here it is. Surprise, surprise. Should always know what your water pressure is here at idle, and it's coming up to almost 5 psi. And I think it's like 30 when I'm running, 30, 35. It's like 4 psi now. So that's good, that's what you want. Know what it is, so if it goes lower than that idle, you know you're gonna have a problem. Shut it off. Do it again. Looking good. All the lights are off, they go down in sequential order. Low oil, check engine hot, no oil, and they go off. If you look on the back of your E-Tech at the computer, there's also lights there. If you get an original service manual, not the Climber or Elmer's or whatever that is, get an original Evinrude or Johnson. Actually, it's Evinrude. Johnson, I don't think, had carb they had carburetors, no computers. Could be wrong on that. So that's it for now. I'm going to talk to you about my fuel filter here in a little bit when it cools down. So thanks for watching and stand by. We'll be back. Okay, Thank you. guys. One more thing I wanted to talk to you about is the fuel filter. The uh, Evan Rood's out of business, so I'm going to have to use the Sierras now. I've used them before on my other motors. Should be fine and dandy. What I do is I take the old one off with the uh, plier 9000s. Take the old one off, put the new one on with some grease, screw it up till it just touches, and then I have my brother squeeze the primer bulb, fill it up, fill up the fuel till it comes out, and as it's coming out, I tighten it. And as you see earlier, I started the motor and it didn't stall or anything. I still have one more filter to do on the bulkhead inside the bilge. But I'll be talking to you about that filter tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, that's my uh, Raycor Parker S3213 water separator fuel filter and needs to be replaced. If you notice, look at it. See how all the printing is? The name, filter, and then the top above the filter number. Keep an eye on that. I'm going to show you something with another filter I bought I thought was a Raycor. Parker Raycor. I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, what I wanted to do is show you something about being scammed. Which one of these filters is a original Raycor, Parker Raycor filter? Put your comment down in the, or, yeah, put your answer down in the comments. This is an S3213, this is an S3227. This I used to use on my trucks. I could use it on the boat, but I decided to swap over to the 13. This one, guys, is the fake. See, it doesn't say Raycor. Look how crappy they put the O-ring in here. Trying to put that on, you'll be there all day. Looks exactly like it. Copycat. So what I'm saying is make sure when you order on eBay or Amazon, I only go on eBay. I didn't look at it enough. Go into the description. It should say brand Parker Raycor, not unbranded. And then you know you're getting an OEM factory filter. So thanks a lot. I just thought I'd bring this to you to keep you alive and keep you uh, on your feet. So thanks for watching for my 106 Happy Hookers. And I'll see you again. Take care and good fishing.